what was it like for you um, eventually getting to the point where, you know, you transitioning from sports, like kind of explain how that happened, and then, you know, uh, you could be graduating or, you know, finally starting your business, like what, how did that transition happen and what, you know, how did it come about? Uh, so man, it honestly, you know, everybody always hear that. Like I said, my mindset was I want to get to the NFL, bro. Like, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get to the NFL, bro. But reality, like, I ain't kind of set in, you know what I mean? But not to a, to a certain extent where I just gave up on it, the whole thing all together. But it was just like, you know, I was going through life without a backup plan. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? I know I said before, like, you could be, I was going to be a father. That just... That's just temp de default answers. You know what I'm saying? That you just like, all right, well, yeah. I know at the end of the day I can just do that. If I just, I ain't gonna bu be a bum. I can do something like that and I'll be good. You know what I mean? But I really didn't have that real backup plan um, going into it. That was the plan. And I, because I went so hard in everything I did, so it was just like, all right, cool. But as you get to the point where you just like, you know, you, you might want to start trying to, you know, dibble and dabble in this and dibble and dabble in that and start doing this. And that's when it was just like, okay, well, I'm out here on my own. At that point, you know, I had like probably maybe one or two people that I could pick up the phone and call. You know what I'm saying? And it gets to the point where you don't want to be a burden on nobody. You know, with just calling them, saying them. So, like I say, it's only two people that I could probably call and just say, "Hey, you know, man, you know, I need blah blah blah. What I'm trying to do blah blah blah." So, I just went, went, I winged it. Went on my own, went into the military, got in there, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I, it helped me with a lot, like as far as time management, as far as being, you know, uh, having some discipline about myself man and 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 not just discipline as far as yes sir no sir discipline in your learn how to discipline yourself like i gotta get up at seven o'clock man or i gotta be somewhere at seven o'clock i need to be there waiting no later than six thirty. you know what i'm saying just learning how to how to how to how to move pr properly like that you know what i'm saying that's what it, it, it helped me with that um like i said i already woke up early but shit, I, now i the sun, once the sun come up, I'm up every day. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes even before. So, it helped in that aspect. But the biggest thing for me, I deal with a lot of racism in the military. And I don't know if it was because of the job I chose or what, but I dealt with a lot of racism. Like, I had, you know, I had racist uh, first sergeants. I done had racist uh, sergeants in my um, uh, squad. Like, I just, I mean, just... Everybody around me, you know what I'm saying, that I felt was supposed to help me really wasn't trying to help me, you know what I'm saying, and I see, like, I know, you know, the levels, you know what I'm saying, that I could go to, and they, and, and most of them, you know, higher up, they knew. I was soldier of the year probably like three times in a row and stuff like that just because I just tried to, you know, stand out. I don't like just being average. I don't like just being one of them, you know what I'm saying, so I, I tried to press the line and, and, and do something great, you know what I'm saying, every time I could, every time I got the opportunity to do it. So, but, and, and with that comes, you know, a lot of people not liking that. You know, they see that you, I'm black, I'm trying to do something, I'm out doing them, I'm doing way better than them, I'm smarter than them, mm -hmm. I'm faster than them, like, it's nothing that you can do, you can't tell me nothing that I don't know, and they don't like that, you know what I'm saying, so, it just got to the point, you know, they start trying to, you know, People try to flex their muscles and flex their power that they got, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only thing I didn't have. I didn't have the power and the rank up, up and through the ranks that most people did have. So that's why they try to put me on bull crap details, you know what I'm saying? Make me do bullshit, make me clean bullshit. Just not just because it's the military, but just out of just spite. Like I want to make you do that because I don't want you to do nothing good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could be helping somebody else do something, or I could be building something. I could be doing something productive. But they'll take that away from me to the point where they don't want to see me doing anything productive. They want to see me suffer. They want to see me in the bottom of the barrel. You know what I'm saying? And it just, I, I, at that, once I start seeing that full throttle, I, I, just, it just, I, I just click like, okay, you know, I'm out here busting my ass. Like, it, and it, this ain't for me now. Like, if I'm going to go this hard for someone, I'm going to go for this hard or for, for me. You know what I'm saying? Not for nobody in the ranks. 
And when Donald Trump became president, I don't have no filter on my mouth, so I was like, fuck that nigga, and you can't say that shit <laughs> in the yeah. military. So that shit was, I was getting in trouble left and right for that shit. They was, when he come on TV, I'm like, fuck that nigga, I'm getting rolled up. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just, I'm gonna say how I feel. We got, and they'll be like, okay, why you feel this way? And we go back and forth on, you know, why we feel, how we feel. But I was just overall, I was like, fuck that nigga. And everybody gave that nigga high praise and honor, so. That was the last straw. I was like, fuck that shit, I'm out. Okay. So, after the military, just talk about, like, you know, just the transition back home. Uh, you know, what what were some of the adjustments that you had to make from military life, from college life, you know, to just being a regular adult? Like, what was the process? Uh, After the military, man, like everybody, when you was in the, when you been, when you in the military, man, you surprised, you'll be surprised how people around look at you, like they look at you, like you like, oh he he up there, he he blah blah blah. What they don't know that the pay is not great, the shit you got to go through, the hours you work, man, you could be making that doing some of your own, or just making that doing a regular job, going to school, you know what I'm saying? So they kind of look once they seen me and i went in no more you know what i'm saying they were just like oh you ain't in the military no more what happened you got kicked out or you did blah 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 or why it didn't work out that's when they started telling you what you should have did as if they did it but you know how that go um then i just had to sit down with myself man and that's when i started working all these bullshit <laughs> i started working these bullshit jobs man warehouses and Warehouses and uh, I worked at a place that uh, distributed car parts, man. So I'm out picking car part orders and sending them out like UPS, FedEx, delivering them. Like I mean, this it was the issue. It was crazy, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to the point where like I I'm working for like ten dollars an hour, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like and I and I watch a lot. That's when I at this point I just started like watching a lot of other people that try to follow they like they pattern and get they 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 insight on stuff mm -hmm. from Dane Dash, Nipsey Hustle, Rick Ross, uh Jay Z a little bit. I ain't really too big on him like that, like most, but I picked up a little off Jay. Uh Master P, you know what I'm saying? Like just seeing because they never went that, you know, they never, they was like, fuck, they were out off the rip, you know what I'm saying? So, they they went in the full head, so I just sat and just listened to certain stuff that they say and take little pieces from each of them and apply it to myself, man, until I sat down and say, alright, alright, now it's time to, we ain't finna just go to work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the last real job I had, I walked out, man, like, I, <laughs> I had, uh, it was on, I was on break, man, and there was some, I ain't gonna lie, man, there was some, I was working with some red niggas, dog, and, and I wouldn't even see red niggas, they were just like, they just some white people that just clicked up with each other, and they were just strong on their shit and just leave me out, like, whatever, so I was the outcast, and I went on break one day, dog, and I was just like, man, you know what? I'm finna leave this bitch, dog. I, they, they, and they was crazy. They we was on lunch, man. And I don't ever take lunch. I, I never took a lunch break. I'll just be chilling. I use that time to chill because they was working me so much. I just use that time to chill. I don't even give a damn. I eat when I get off, man. Oh, yeah. So they went out to eat and shit like that. And they lunch probably gone like an hour and thirty. And thirty minutes into that, I only think it was thirty minutes into that. I sat at the computer and I was just like. Yeah, this ain't it, bro. Like, I gotta do something. I bonked out, man. I, I I went to my car, drove off, and I ain't heard from them since. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they sent a letter or nothing in the mail. I don't, yeah. I, don't even, I think it was just they knew they probably yeah. could see it in me. Like that yeah. shit was building up, dog. Cause I was just like, I ain't taking this shit no more. Bro. Yeah. I, it was a wrap, bro. So.